It's about that time where I start having these sit down videos where I talk about the future of the next season. Says birth, nigga, ain't nothing like y'all, y'all. You know I'm far from perfect, I won't need you on. But tonight it's feeling perfect, this your favorite song. I know that move right, I know that move right, oh, dance with me. Now, yes, I currently am talking about season four of Pivot Spider Man. Now, it's a little weird because normally we'd still be on, I don't know, maybe episode three at least. And progressively, we've been pushing out so many episodes to where I literally have to talk about season four so early. And it just feels like we started season three at the beginning of at the beginning of the school year, I believe. And now we're at episode seven. And we have four more episodes to go before it's over. And honestly, if we keep going at the rate we've been going, we'll be finished with this in a matter of a month. So that means that it's about time for me to start talking about the future of season four, what it's about, and how I'm going to go about it. Now, because I spent so much time working on the titles and the descriptions and coming up with the ideas for this show, I spent half of my sophomore year working on each season and I went all the way up until season eight now uh, currently I'm putting it at 10 seasons but I'm starting to think that because we're going by so fast with everything that in a matter of several years I'm eventually we're gonna run out of seasons and I don't know if I'm still gonna have that that fire to push out seasons so right now currently we're standing at 10 seasons but a part of me wonders if people are still gonna want the same content by the time season 10 is over so I'm thinking maybe we'll either have to add a new season or the show will just be over at season 10 but we'll have to see because I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be doing because I know for a fact that Season three is probably going to be the longest season of the show, which means every season after that is going to be maybe um, around nine episodes for sure. So we have to be more prepared about what's going to happen in the future for the show. Now, season four is going to be more like season four of The Flash, where it's more neutral and it's a lot more. But it has to do with season five of The Flash as well, where it's basically family and how spider-man and the rose take care of their baby how they take care of a child and the basically uh parenthood you know and that is what season four is going to be mainly about for spider-man but it's also like i said about the rose it's going to be so much more action-packed and it's going to have more people getting on but like i said this is spider-man okay this isn't the rose now yes the rose and spider-man are in the same universe but Spider-Man alone, this is about Spider-Man's time. This isn't about him and his girlfriend. Now, yeah, his girlfriend's going to be there or, you know, wife in the future. But, I mean, it's mostly about Spider-Man and how he handles becoming a man and pressure building upon him and having to take care of this, take care of that all at once. That's a lot of work for just one person, but he's going to be able to handle that. How is he going to be able to handle that, though? So that's what season four is going to be mainly about him growing as a person essentially and he will start to eventually get more facial hair i'm just thinking about it i have to talk to my animator but we'll see what happens so i uh, hope that answered some of your questions about what season four is going to be about since there's only four episodes left of season three um season three has been a great ride and season one of the rose has been an amazing ride so i hope you guys did enjoy that like the video and i'll see you guys in the not too distant future